Yeah, good afternoon to everybody. Hi, Antonio. How are you? Hi. Uh, fine, thanks. Uh, Antonio, uh, which players are unavailable for the game? And do you see this as a chance uh, to rest those who have played many minutes recently? Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, that uh, um, for sure this game, uh, um, yeah, could could be could be a good opportunity to to make rotations and uh, to give chance uh, the players that uh, didn't play uh, didn't play so much in the last uh, in the last period. But uh, as you know very well, FA Cup is an important competition and. Uh, we want to try uh, to go to the next step, and uh, it will be important for us uh, to uh, to win the game. How likely is it that Deli Ali will play, or does the potential of him maybe leaving this month impact on on your thinking? But uh, Deli is uh, one of the players that tomorrow, on Sunday uh, he play and. Uh, uh, for sure, uh, is a good opportunity, is a good chance, uh, and uh, to 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 play well and uh, um, that, to to show that uh, he's in a good fit. Antonio, what do you know about Daniel Levy's meeting with Joe Lewis, and does this enhance your belief that the club will back you in the transfer market? But um, I, I I think that um, I, I'm sure that uh, we want the best. Uh, we want the best for Tottenham, and uh, uh, the first person that uh, want to improve the situation uh, is for sure our our owner, and. Uh, um, We'll have time to to speak to speak together uh, also with uh, uh, with the people that work in uh, in the club to try to um, to understand well the the situation uh, to understand uh, if uh, there is the opportunity to to improve to improve this squad in this uh, in this transfer market. But I think uh, we'll do. Uh, the same things that uh, all the teams uh, are uh, are doing in these uh, in these days, and uh, yeah, I think it will be a good opportunity after two months to to speak about uh, um, uh, the situation that uh, now is uh, is very clear for me, and uh, yeah, I know I know that. Uh, Everybody wants to improve the, the, the situation. And, uh, and for sure, we need time. We need patience. We need to continue to work in this way. And uh, we have two ways no? to, to improve the, the situation. Is uh, one to improve the level of, of, of the players that uh, um, uh, we have in, uh, in our squad. And another opportunity could be also to uh, to implement the squad, to improve the quality of the squad. But as you know very well, uh, January is not uh, is not easy for uh, uh, anyone. And uh, uh, we'll see we'll see uh, what uh, what happened. Thanks, Paul. Uh, James Savindra, please. Hi, Antonio. You spoke about Hi. needing to have some patience when it comes to this rebuild. How patient do you think you'll have to be? And are you prepared to be here for a, a very long time to see this rebuild through? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, um, I, 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 I surely and uh, um, I, I know, I know the situation, and I, I think also uh, the club no, uh, knows the the situation very very well. And uh, I think this league is uh, uh, is the most difficult league in the world, and the level of this league is very is very high. 
there is a lot of demanding uh, uh, in every game. And, uh, and for this reason, uh, you have to pay great attention uh, and um, you have to try to, uh, um, to build a good foundation and a good structure if we want to be competitive for other teams. Also because, I repeat, and uh, apart the, the the first force of the team, uh, the top team that uh, there are in uh, in England, and then uh, there are uh, many strong teams that they are building something important and to, they want to be competitive. There is a, a big battle, a, bi a big... Uh, um, you, you have to be prepared to, to fight a lot here and uh, to try to, to keep your position in this, uh, in this league. And uh, we know this, we have to know this, and uh, it won't be difficult. But we have to try to do our best and uh, to bring Tottenham uh, in, uh, in the best uh, um, position uh, for, uh, for the club. And what response have you seen from your players to Wednesday night's defeat at Stamford Bridge? Um, sorry, uh, can you repeat, please? How have the players reacted to the defeat against Chelsea? Uh, the, reaction, uh, the reaction was... Uh, uh, we analysed and we, we started to analyse the, the game uh, only, only today. And because I think that uh, yes, they was a bit uh, too early, and uh, I think that uh, we uh, uh, we can do much better in many aspects. And uh, uh, it was a tough game. It was a tough game for us. And uh, I said before the game that uh, this type of game can. Uh, can show us uh, 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 how distance, uh, 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 how is the gap with uh, with this type of uh, of club, no? And uh, I think that uh, we can do we can do much better uh, than the game that you we played uh, against against Chelsea. But I know also I know very well that uh, is a part of a process, and uh, to. Uh, to try to, to be better in this type of game uh, is a part of the process. Thanks, James. Uh, Thanks. Alistair Gold, please. Hi there, Antonio. Hi. Um, I was just wondering if you're going to be able to rest Harry Kane or not on Sunday, and if so, who would you play up front instead? But, uh, honestly, honestly, I think that uh, I replayed uh, uh, six games in uh, uh, 17 days. And uh, I think if uh, I have the possibility, and, uh, but I think that uh, uh, it's right, it's right to, to give him a bit of rest. And uh, also because after this game, uh, before uh, the uh, the break of the national team, uh, of the international team, and uh, we'll have uh, four games, uh, very very difficult, very difficult games: uh, Chelsea, Arsenal, Leicester, and uh, and then Chelsea again. Um, it's difficult. It's always difficult to uh, to think, no, uh, to to decide to. Uh, don't start with uh, with uh, with Harry, but uh, at the same time, uh, I think that uh, in uh, uh, some games, uh, um, if uh, we we can uh, take risk, it's uh, it's right to 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 take. Yeah, I mean, you've mentioned before about Steven Bergwijn maybe playing in that role when Harry can't. Obviously, he's injured at the moment. Who else could you see filling in for Harry instead? But I spoke with him uh, today and uh, with uh, with Steven, and um, his feeling uh, is good. He's improving uh, day by day, step by step. And uh, um, my expectation, uh, the expectation of the depa depa medical department, is to 
to come back very, very soon. Uh, we need of, of him also because, uh, and uh, uh, we had a problem uh, with, uh, with the son and uh, during the game uh, against, uh, uh, against uh, Chelsea. And uh, yeah, it would be very important to recover uh, Steven Bergwin. Thanks, Ali. Uh, Jonathan Veal, please. Hi, Antonio. Um, Hi, you know. We've seen Christian Eriksen this week give an interview about wanting to get back to sort of play for the play for Denmark in the World Cup. Obviously, you were with him last year at Inter. I was wondering if you've spoken to him uh, since what happened in the summer, and you know, if there was a chance, would you let him come and train at Tottenham? But I, I didn't speak uh, recently with uh, with uh, Christian, uh, and for sure, uh, 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 it was great. Uh, it was fine uh, to to see him uh, in, uh, in in a pitch and uh, to see that he's kicking uh, uh, the ball. And uh, uh, we are talking about uh, um, a really important player, but especially a, a, a top man. And uh, what happened is this, uh, this summer uh, uh, was uh, uh, very uh, not good, not good. And um, for the people that worked with him and the people that know him, uh, uh, I was scared at that moment. And uh, and, and now uh, to see him uh, again, again ready. To play football uh, is a uh, is uh, a great news, and uh, um, I think for Christian uh, the, the 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 door uh, uh, is always open. And can I just ask that you mentioned about uh, Son picking up his injury at Chelsea? Is that a bad injury, or would he be expected to be fit for the second leg next week? Yeah, but uh, it was a strange situation, uh, and. Uh, because uh, against Chelsea and uh, uh, I made two substitutions and uh, with uh, um, together no and uh, Lucas Mora and and then Son and uh, um, yeah but uh, not for injury uh, it was the substitution but only to to try to to give them a bit of rest 15 minutes of rest. Then uh, the day after, and I felt uh, a bit of pain in uh, in his uh, uh, in his muscle and uh, uh, in his uh, in his leg, and uh, yeah, he had a scan, and now uh, we, we have to um, to 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 make the the right uh, uh, evaluation from the doctor. So and uh, uh, yeah, he's a, he's an injury. And he's an angel, and uh, I don't know, but uh, uh, probably uh, and, um, they they could stay uh, uh, without training session um, until the end of this uh, cycle uh, before the uh, the international break.